Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on adding algebraic terms containing the same variable. Now this is the first video on how we can simplify algebraic expressions. And if you have an algebraic term or an algebraic expression, it means we've got letters involved. So these letters are known as variables. And the reason it's called a variable is because its value might vary. We often use variables to represent things that we don't know. So we use variables to represent values we don't know. And variables we use generally single letters. And the whole point of algebra is that when we represent values we don't know, we can then turn that possibly into an equation, solve the equation to find the value of what x is or what y is to solve some kind of like practical problem. But for the moment, all we're going to do is simplify these expressions to make these expressions simpler. And the way to do it is just to kind of think of it in words. If you have x and you're adding another lot of x and you're adding another lot of x, how many lots of x do we have? Well, in total, we have three lots of x. So we have three lots of x. And the way we write that is three x. So when we say three x in algebra, that just means three lots of x. And in general, in algebra, when we have things next to each other, it means that we're timesing them together. So for example, if I wrote x, y, that means x times y. If you have these letters next to each other or things next to each other, it means that you're multiplying them together. Let's look at the next one. We've got one lot of y, we're adding another lot of y, we're adding another lot of y, and we're adding another lot of y. How many lots of y do we have in total? Well, in total, we've got four lots of y. There's four of these, so we have four lots of y. Four y means four lots of y. Now, if we use the word lots of, again, that might help us with the next one. We've got seven lots of x, seven x means seven lots of x, and we're adding three lots of x. How many lots of x do we have in total? Well, we have 10 lots of x, and we write that as 10x. And then finally, this one, we've got two lots of y. We're adding one lot of y. There's no number in the front of it, it's just a lot of y. So we could, if we wanted to, put a little one in the front, because y in its own just means one lot of y. If I said I've got a bunch of grapes, that's the same as saying I've got one bunch of grapes. So we can put a one on the front to say we've got one of it. Now we've got two lots of y, we're adding one lot of y, and then we're adding another five lots of y. How many lots of y do we have in total? Well, two plus one plus five is eight, so we've got eight lots of y. And that's it. To simplify these expressions is just to make it simpler and more concise. We have less things there, less terms. And one of these things on its own, by the way, in this addition, is known as a term. So a term is just one of the things being added in this algebraic expression. And the whole thing overall, to get the right terminology, is known as an expression. So an expression is just a collection of terms. Each term is an individual thing without the pluses or minuses within it. So this is a term, this is a term, this is a term. And then if you have a collection of terms, that's known as an expression.